130000 $140,000. A gripping story gone viral. And he started screaming like, get into the car. Mm -hmm. The new Netflix documentary, The Tinder Swindler, follows the story of several women who thought they found love through an online dating app, only to lose tens of thousands of dollars in the end. Money, they claim, was taken by fraud. The con itself was just so audacious and so elaborate. Something the film's director says should be a wake-up call. It's probably not just you that they're doing this to. These so-called scams involving love and deception now have the U.S. government on high alert. The Federal Trade Commission saying romance scams hit record highs in 2021, with victims conned out of more than $540 million, part of the record $1.3 billion lost in the last five years alone. Some scammers now turning to cryptocurrency to trick victims. He was everything I thought I wanted in a person. Angelica Chavez met a man on the dating app Hinge last year. He pretended to be an entrepreneur in Los Angeles, that he was coming from China. He's sending you voice notes, videos, so you're, you're seeing him. You, you have no reason at this point to believe he's not real. Exactly, exactly, yes. And so I would all ask, when are we going to meet? And so there were always excuses as to why we couldn't meet. Then he offered to teach her how to use cryptocurrency. At some point, I'm the one that asked, oh, maybe you could teach me someday. And that's when he offered to teach me. Angelica borrowed money from her father and soon had nearly $20,000 on the line, which her date told her to invest through a separate online app. You actually saw your money grow. Mm -hmm, yeah. So everything looked real. Everything looked like it was a functioning, up and running app. Yes, it did. It had all the data. The numbers were changing. It looked similar to the real app. And this whole time, you're thinking you're actually gaining money. Yes, yes. But she says the app was fake. It says zero return on investment. And the money was gone. It's the type of scam the Better Business Bureau says is becoming more common every day. The conversation starts out of, hey, would you like to learn about cryptocurrency? Little do you know, you're going through a completely fake website or you're actually using someone else's account, usually the scammers, and that's where that money is going. Fraud experts say to avoid being the next victim, you should try to keep any conversations on the same app where you initially met the person. Another tip, do a reverse image search of their profile picture, just to make sure it matches their name. You can even quiz the person on their profile information as you're talking to make sure that the details posted match what they share about their real lives. I was being vulnerable with him, and then he just shuddered everything. <laughs> Steps Chavez says she wishes she had known. I didn't think at any time I would fall for something like this. So Angelica says she did file an incident report with the Los Angeles Police Department, which NBC News has independently verified. You know, these romance scams, they're not new, but it seems like they're a lot easier now with, you know, yeah. computers and online, all, all that stuff. Are there resources to help people? Uh, tons of resources. In fact, you can go online. They're working to get the word out from the FBI to the Federal Trade Commission. You can go to consumer.ftc.gov for an entire list of examples, things like the types of lies these scammers tend to tell, mm. even what to do if, in fact, you assume suspect that you might be a target of this type of scam. And even if you think you have been a victim of this kind of scam, the FTC says that you should report it online. You can go to reportfraud.ftc.gov. And I think sometimes, first of all, you're embarrassed. And second yeah. of all, it oh, takes yeah. so long for you to realize, wait a minute, this is actually happening to right. you. You yeah. justify it. And you almost don't head. want to admit it. Yeah. Did they have mm -hmm. any other advice on how to combat this? Honestly, they said there shouldn't be shame. Exactly yeah. what you just oh. mentioned, because this is happening to a lot of really competent, thoughtful sure. people. These are people who are smart, you know, yeah. people who are mm -hmm. in Internet savvy. They were just doing what everyone does, and that was looking for love. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. And I guess also you should avoid any app that you don't find in an app store. That was a key, especially for Angelica, because this guy said, "Look, just invest your cryptocurrency on this uh, other app." She even Googled yeah. the website, and he had created an entire dummy oh website. So don't go outside Focus. of the app store. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Morgan, it's a good one. Thank, Thank you. you so yeah. What is it? Anchor Morgan. Anchor Morgan. Morgan. Anchor 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 Dining hall day yeah. 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 <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.